welcome to consumer awakening mission today we will be discussing on the subject of medical negligence how to obtain expert opinion in medical negligence cases generally public at large has got this complaint that a doctor a medical practitioner does not give expert opinion against their fellow doctor or they hesitate it's fine we will tell you certain tips i am going to divide medical negligence cases for this purpose in three categories first category is where a case is where you have undergone an operation and certain foreign articles are left in the body like uh, surgical instruments or scissors or cotton or a likewise thing is left in the body by mistake and your body has been stitched later on these things create problem you undergo again operation remove these articles and you are fine now this series of events itself prove that there was a negligence on the part of medical practitioner while doing the operation and since those things are now removed and you are all right it itself proves your case and there is no need to obtain medical neg- uh, medical expert opinion in this case court will decide the case on the basis of these events your medical record your prescriptions your medicines taken or your operation undergone once and again twice second category is where doctor has diagnosed your case wrongly given wrong medicines and it has deteriorated your condition later on when you switch over to another doctor he diagnoses your disease in different manner gives his medicines and you are perfectly all right in this case also series of events all prove that there was a case of wrong diagnosis and because of that you suffered this problem and when proper and correct diagnosis is made by the another doctor he has treated you and you are all right it itself shows that there was a negligence on the part of first doctor here in this case you can request the treating doctor who has cured your disease to give a, this was the case of the patient when he came to you and this was the condition of the patient this was the diagnosis made by the doctor and it was wrong and now subsequently his decision or his diagnosis was this and medicines were given on this manner and these are the treatment records and now patient is all right this statement or summary also constitute to a medical expert opinion and court will do with this in case court still wants that another expert opinion is required to make comparative study of the two or make comparison or bring some more facts to the case it is up to the court they can again ask for expert opinion on their own third category is where you do not understand what has gone wrong to your case you have gone for treatment your condition has deteriorated instead of improving and you are not recovering at all and ultimately it has damaged you badly made your condition deteriorated you go to the court and say this is the medical negligence because of which i have suffered a sort see uh, some operation goes wrong some injection is wrongly administered and all likewise things in this case it's not necessary that you have to obtain expert opinion in case you are not able to obtain it you can go to the court and even if you have some documents deficient you need those documents and they are with the hospital or the doctor you can go to the court and request the court to get you all other relevant doc, uh, documents from the other party and also to obtain expert opinion on your behalf from anywhere court wishes to do now courts also obtain expert opinion from the government hospitals or medical council or whatever way court feels feels fit in that case all your treatment record 
is sent to the government hospital some committee is constituted in the hospital with the same department the type of disease you had committee sits and analyzes all your treatment and records etc and come to some conclusion medical negligence on the part of treating doctor here we would like to suggest you one thing normally what happens in the court when it is noted that expert opinion be obtained from such and such hospital reader sends all the documents to the hospital all the documents sometimes include your complaint your uh, other parties uh, ws written statement your documents etc all are sent to the hospital sometimes hospitals are not very happy to get all the documents in bulk because they send it back and they say give us particular doc documents specific documents and ask us what exactly we have to do in that case if your advocates works a little more patiently and works hard on your case your advocate can also prepare questions giving your treatment record your diagnosis your prescriptions your medicines taken x rays test reports etc this is the case and this was the treatment given now it is a committee you can ask them whether this diagnosis amounts to this and this disease whether the treatment given by the doctor is correct etc etc if such questions go to the hospital to the committee it becomes very easy for the committee to decide analyze and come to some conclusion so friends role of an advocate is very very important in medical negligence cases and especially in obtaining the expert opinion so friends these are the ways you can get expert opinions with the help of court with the help of your treating doctor and with the help of a situation and telling them the series of facts facts and circumstances if you explain in your petition that this was the case in some cases expert opinion is not needed in some cases statement or summary of the treating doctor is well off and in some cases court also helps you to obtain expert opinion so friends there is no need to hesitate that they cannot that you cannot file case without expert opinion you can go ahead and take help of the consumer courts friends if you like our discussion subscribe our channel share our video and like if you really like it we'll come again to you with a new subject thanks